Sony X70 audio setup. There are three different areas of recording audio on the Sony X70. One is the stereo input, two auxiliary inputs labeled input one and input two, and it has an internal mic. To set up which system you're recording on, enter the menu. Scroll to audio set, then scroll down to mic select. Within mic select, you have the options for auto, internal mic, my shoe mic, and stereo mini mic. There's a stereo mini mic port on the side of the camera. In this case, we want to choose my shoe mic. My shoe mic refers to input one and two. On the opposite side of input one and input two, on the far left, you see record channel select channel one slash channel two. The switch can also be switched to channel one only. The difference is that when the switch is on channel one only, it records to the left channel one input only, as input number two refers to the right channel. Channel one slash channel two is still only the input for channel one is duplicated to play through the left and right channels which will play in your left and right headphones but it's not true stereo this is dual mono to use two microphones you want to flip the switch to channel one and use the XLR ports channel one and channel two inputs one mic will be sent to the left and the other mic will be sent to the right channel input one will be sent to the left audio in input and channel two will be sent to the right audio input the ATT stands for attenuation you want to set these levels depending on the noise of the area that you're filming in. 0 dB, minus 10 dB, minus 20 dB. The attenuation, the loudness of the mic. There's an auto manual button. It allows you to control the volume of input 1 in manual mode and you control how loud the audio is. And if you put it in auto mode, the system will compensate the loudness. It's better to choose manual mode and control your audio yourself. And above the volume dial is input one. You'll see line, mic, and mic plus 48 volts. Line is used for audio amplifiers and mixing consoles. And mic is for mics such as lavaliers, cardioid mics and, and shotgun mics. The mic plus 48 volt is the phantom power which most boom mics will need to use the phantom power. So set it to mic 48 volts so your mic can be powered. All of these controls are the same for input 2. On the far right you'll see input 1 low cut on and off and also input 2 on and off. We can turn on and off the low cut or high cut. It's called This is called the high pass filter or low pass filter. You can cut off noises in the background by switching this on such as a loud air conditioner in the background or a fan blowing or wind blowing or a plane overhead. It won't eliminate all of the sounds. It might help you capture better audio in your recording situation.